Alright, here is the video review for DX9 Toys X18 Bumper, aka their little tiny version of Slag. Look at Slag, Slug, Sludge, Snarl, whatever you want to call him. Snarl would be wrong. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, here he is. He's a Triceratops. He's yellow. His mouth opens, kind of, if you get your fingernail in there. Ah, he can be an angry dinosaur. He's got some chrome, he's got some red. The horns don't twist. The horns are actually pegged on uh, in a way that they don't rotate, or if they do, they don't rotate easily enough that I feel comfortable turning them. Uh, so they're kind of like that. But yeah, he's got his horns, he's got his tail. His tail's kind of posable a little bit if you want to move that if you want. His legs are posable at the, uh, you got a rotation there, but that's for transformation. Uh, but at the hip and knee, you can pose his legs. I guess his front ones not move. I guess his front ones are only posable at the hip. Huh. Oh well. Good to know. But yeah, a little chunk. They're small. They're part of their Warren Pocket line. So they're smaller figures. They're bigger than the standard Warren Pocket figures, and we'll show that off. Here he is with a Shark Decon. Here he is with Wheelie. I got the slingshot from the GDO. Generations GDO wheelie that was from the Deluxe Jazz Mold. Everybody keeps asking me that. I think I said it in a couple of video reviews, but just so you know. But yeah, there he is with a Legends wheelie. Give you an idea how big he is. I'm going to transform him. We'll go ahead and start this thing. So, we'll bring his legs up like this because his tail, when it comes unpegged, you see there's this curved piece here. It kind of has to fold around his legs. On the outside here, you kind of got to bring this around, squeeze that past his leg there, like that. And same on this side. I feel like there has to be an easier way to do this, but the legs don't come in at all. If we split his legs here. Once you that done, you can, you can lift that. It shouldn't pop off the ball joint, although it does frequently. Uh, that's on the ball joint there. We'll go ahead and rotate that up. Uh, bring the legs down and around like this. And peg them from right here. Bring them down. The tail actually folds up and becomes the foot. Into the leg like that. Collapse that in. This piece folds forward. And there's the foot inside the leg. Again, this, this is on a double hinge here, so you bring this in, bring this down like this, flip the toe forward, and then this whole panel, like I said, that comes around on this double hinge and folds it to bring that whole foot forward like that. And then you fold the toe in, or the heel in. Go ahead and open his backpack here. This up a little bit. Bring the hips down. The uh, his legs fold around the back here, like that. This hip piece folds up. The chest piece folds up. Snaps together like that. Allows you to collapse everything back together the way it should go. See how his front legs are in there, and the rear legs form his arms. Bring them down. Uh, the fists are flipped up into the foot, and uh, it helps if you use his sword to get those out of there. Or his gun. You can use either either of his weapons. He's got a sword and a gun. Just peg it into his hand and then use that to rotate him out. Just a little easier that way. And then pull this whole assembly down. There we go. Which reveals his head. He does have the red head. And there he is in robot mode. He does have, you can kind of see, tiny, tiny hands. He's like the Donald Trump of Tricerobots. But all in all, when, when he's holding a weapon, you don't really notice him. 
and they don't look super horrible at overall. So he's got a swivel head, maybe on a ball joint. I have not had enough. Yeah, it looks like it's on a ball joint. Um, but it's very tight, so turning it is a bit of a pain. There we go. We turned it a little bit. <laughs> uh, but he's got dual hinge shoulders, hinge elbows, the bicep swivel we saw earlier. No wrist swivel, but they do move up and down a little bit. Does not have waist swivel due to how he transforms. He's got ball joint hips. He does have a thigh swivel, hinge knees, and a little bit of uh, motion in the foot, but not really so much. You can get a, a few slightly angled poses thanks to that double hinge, but he, he, they're not super dynamic. He doesn't have any ankle tilt or anything. And again, just to compare him with some previous Warren pocket figures, here he is with Gartnell, their version of Ironhide, and Speedoo, their version of Blur. So they are larger than your average DX9 Warren pocket scale figure. And they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be a little bigger. I don't know if they're necessarily supposed to be quite this much larger than say somebody like Ironhide, but there you go. Um, here he is again with Legends Wheelie. Just to give you an idea. And if you have the Iron Factory, the uh, Lightning Strike War Within Dinobot set, there he is with his counterpart there. So they're a little bigger than the Iron Factory set. But yeah, there is X18, I believe, bumper. Uh, we'll, we've got Quaker here as well. We'll show him off in a minute. 